if the founding fathers left <laughs> if the founding fathers if the founding fathers left behind a magic horn that could summon the legends <laughs> If the Founding Fathers left behind a magic horn that could summon the legends of American history, would now be the time to blow it? <laughs> oh, that, man, that's such a hard decision to make, you know? Because you only get to do it once. You only, yeah, I mean, they specifically <laughs> wrote that. They specifically inscribed that on the magic horn when they left it behind and buried it uh, beneath the White House. But it, it goes on. If the Founding Fathers left behind a magic horn that could be blown in a time of dire need to save America, but it would only work once, thank you, Travis, uh-huh. yes. would now be the time to use it? They would stay... <laughs> <laughs> they would stay till the next new moon. <laughs> so there's like even more... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 break this down. This is, continues on. The founding fathers could come back and solve the political problems. Great inventors like Edison and Tesla and Curie and jo, jo Salk, Jonas Salk could, uh, and such could find a vaccine and a cure for the coronavirus. The inventors and scientists could work out something for saving the environment. It would be cool to see the great composers, musicians, and singers again who would bring us wow. great music to inspire us through this crisis. Andrew's sisters could be back a while, just like they were in World War II. John Henry and Paul Bunyan could build us some new infrastructure. What it is like- happening? Well, they blew Magic Horn and brought back all American legends. Let me finish. It would- okay, no, wait. I'm confused. I do want to dispute... Some of these are real human beings that invented fucking vaccines, and some of them are Paul Bunyan. Yeah. <laughs> so I am, I am. Tra- this is a good horn. <laughs> I also <laughs> say, I, uh, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Marie Curie, I'm uh, kind of sure, but Tesla, I know, wasn't born here. I would not call them American legends. Maybe we know of them here, but it's uh, not like. Can we claim Yuri Curie? Is that ours? You gotta let so. me. You gotta let me finish this. There's one last Sorry. part here that is maybe the wildest one of all. It would likely. It, it would likely conjure. It would likely conjure the armies of the past who could restore peace in the Middle East. Oh, okay. I don't think that that's what they've been waiting on over there. I don't think they've been <laughs> waiting on a bunch of old timey soldiers to show up in old heavy woolen garb with their muskets and what have you and been like oh that was it that was the piece of the puzzle that's been missing the whole time uh final sentence if there was such a magic horn would now be the time to use it well okay so i think a couple things we can kind of maybe poke holes in a little bit like if i i think if edison uh mary curie uh jonas salk uh tesla if they came back now I think they would have so much science to catch up on. Like, I don't think that, like, that they would be able to get to it by the next new moon, right? Because they'd come back and they'd be like, whoa, let me see that iPhone. And you're like, yeah, but let's work on coronavirus. And they're like, I'm so, look, give me a minute. Is that a TV? What the hell, right? Like, I don't think coronavirus, we're going to get to that. You know what I mean? Well, they'd have to also jump through some hoops. Edison has fallen, I would say, greatly out of out of favor. Yeah, uh, he's gonna be doing so. Like his main first thing is gonna be just rebuilding the brand. I think. Yeah, yeah, he has had it. He has had it. Here's rough here's lately. how we go. <laughs> Fucking Tesla, Marie Curie. They're like, "What's up? What's up?" People are like, "Oh, fuck yeah, cool. Come on in." Edison's like, "What's up? Your man Edison's here too. Anybody need anything invented?" And they'll be like, "Yo, tell us about this elephant that you shocked to to death, partner." And <laughs> He'd have to be like, oh, fuck, I think I can really whip this thing into, no, you're right. Okay, so, listen, it was a different time. Um, we- you have gone from, you have gone from, like, world-renowned inventor father of, like, the electric light to literal Doctor Who villain. <laughs> yes. In a literal episode of Doctor Who, my man. I know it's been rough since you kind of checked out with the dying, but things have not gone well for you in the interim. You should have left a very sympathetic, like, memoir yes. or something. And can you imagine, if Paul Bunyan comes back and you're like, let's get to work on this infrastructure, how about some kind of universal Wi-Fi event? And he's like, what? What are you talking? What I can dig a new need? Grand Canyon. You're like, no, we need highways. We need restructured bridges. Oh, I don't do that. I've, I've, I've never. I've, in my mindscape, I have thought of a deeper hole we can poo poo and pee in. Like, <laughs> no, fun. John Henry, we're going to need you to do some kind of light rail system. Uh, no, uh, I'm a steel driving man. Uh, I well, don't know anything about that. You have 24 hours to learn all about electromagnets. Or else we're going to blow the fucking horn again. Okay. 
<laughs> oh no, you'll send me back to hell. <laughs> <laughs> what? All of them are in hell. <laughs> They're all in hell. Okay, wow. Even Jonas Salk, all of the polio vaccine. <laughs> Oof. That's a tough break, Jonas. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, you gave it away for free and refused to patent your vaccine, but you're in hell? Yep. You don't know what other stuff you was into. I, you know what? I do, that's a tough way to counterbalance that, Trav. I, guess, I mean, not by works are you saved. I do get that for sure. Um, all right, let's put this. Let's put this out there right now. The next new moon uh, is going to come April twenty second. So right now, okay. right now, sort of chronologically speaking, is not the best time to blow this. No, horn. no, no, no. But, uh, but April Griffin. April April twenty third, we blow this horn. We get the maximum amount of time with these American legends. But here's the problem, Griffin. What if between, there's a problem? Yes, between now and the 22nd is when th- it's the exact moment we most needed them, right? So we might not. It, it might be quality over quantity, right? Like we well, we would only have 10 days with them, but in that 10 days is when we needed them most. Well, I would argue that we should have fucking blown this horn on what February well, or March 22nd. Like, yeah, Griffin. Yeah, duh. But we we should have, but we, we did just it. found the horn, didn't we? We, we just, just found, found it. Horn. We were repainting that one bathroom, and it mm-hmm. was we peeled off the wallpaper, and there was a little door there, and we just never looked. What do you think the founding fathers, like if John Adams came back now and like fixed the American government, he'd be like, ooh, I don't fucking know, man. Like, I don't know. And it's like, oh, okay. And he's like, so I got what I got like what, twenty seven days left? I'm just gonna go well, I can't go outside, huh? Because you guys fucked that up. Ooh. Yeah, sorry. I'm pretty sure that like their shit aged pretty bad also. Pretty sure yeah, by the time the Bill brand. pretty sure by the time Bill Wrights came out, that most of them were like, Oh man, we fucking beefed it pretty bad on that one, huh? The whole foundational shit. Ah, beans. I don't think that's gotten better since, what, Why didn't we put, we should have put no scrubs into the Constitution. Yeah, damn it. should have just written no scrubs. And Ben Franklin's like, I know, right? That's what I said. (laughs) I said that, and you said, but what about him? He's a scrub, and I said, no scrubs. I bet fucking Alexander Hamilton would be pretty psyched about everything, though, huh? (laughs) Yeah, he'd probably probably enjoy it. He'd He'd probably probably come out with all this stuff. He'd be like, how's the money stuff? Not good, not good? I'll do what I can, but hold on. First, let me enjoy this moment. 